this twin flame is desperate to hold on to you, but I'm, I'm like confused with their actions here. Taking, like, somebody could be getting their driver's license for the first time, or somebody is having to retake their driver's uh, license, or somebody is getting, like, their CDL license, okay? Something, your twin is broke, they're heartbroken, they're trying to heal through music. There is a mosquito in the room, and I am scared for my life. That somebody does not want you to go anywhere, they're willing to hold on to you forever, and the chariot is there in reverse. They fully intend to block you from ever moving forward from going on hello scorpio how are you welcome back to the channel stars inside here if you're new make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe we are read for you guys okay this is whatever comes up it is a general read so take what resonates and leave with us a behind cross watchers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below i want to thank everyone for all the support and with all that out of the way we're going to get started <laughs> Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guides, and read for my Scorpios. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. There's something here about an exam. Somebody is... I get... I'm going to say what I'm picking up on. Somebody is... Uh taking like somebody could be getting their driver's license for the first time or somebody is having to retake their driver's uh, license or somebody is getting like their cdl license okay something about driving is going on here so let's see here what's going on with scorpios my scorpio collective we have neptune the hangman and the high priestess this is uh pisces energy this is neptune in transit here we have number one the magician in reverse gemini energy mercury retrograde then we have uh virgo upside down so this is also mercury retrograde and this is the hermit card in reverse the magician card in reverse the hermit card in reverse uh hangman and high priestess somebody was trying to do some sort of uh, magic but it didn't work it didn't work. The spell work backfired, okay? At the bottom, oh, that's why it didn't work. Temperance, you're spiritually protected. You have angelic assistance at this time, okay? Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael, they are watching over you. Six of coins, okay? There's some sort of money coming in. Some sort of divine blessing, but I just want to see what the cards have to say here. The Six of Swords. What do we have for my Scorpio collective? Six of Swords, Three of Cups, the Page of Coin, the Chariot in Reverse. Five of Swords. Queen of Cups, the Devil, mm. Ten of Cups, Three of Coin. Clarify this Ten of Cups, Devil, the, the Five of Staffs, wow. Oh, and the Eight of Swords over this Queen of Cups. And what's this Five of Swords, the Chariot in Reverse, Page of Coin? Ten of staffs, seven of swords, Scorpio. No, hold up. There's about to be divine intervention. Your angels are about to get involved because somebody here has been calling on the devil. Okay, somebody has been calling on the devil for assistance to keep you bound. They put this love blocking spell on you queen of cups three of cups and the six of swords this is you you're this queen of cups and you want to be in the three of cups but the six of swords there moving into calmer waters you haven't been able to do that because of the eight of swords somebody put 
a love blocking spell on y'all. Or they put root magic on you. They rooted themselves onto you energetically. They don't want you to go anywhere. Ten of staffs. Somebody does not want you to go anywhere. They're willing to hold on to you forever. And the chariot is there in reverse. They fully intend to block you from ever moving forward, from going on a journey, okay? There is somebody or there are several people here, Scorpio. They are going to hold on to you forever, it seems. And I feel like it's divine intervention. The devil, three of coins, five of staffs, this individual is with a third party. Uh, Ten of cups. This individual is literally in a third party karmic connection. This is somebody that's in a third party karmic connection and them and the third party, they always fight. This is a really heavy energy. This is a heavy read. This is a heavy read. Okay, so let's talk about this person then that's holding on to y'all's energy. Why do they want to hold on to Scorpio so, so badly? Why? Nine of stats? They want to have a victory with you. But you see, the Queen of Staffs is here at the bottom. You're the Queen of Cups. Five of Coin. Three of Sword. Emperor. This, this is your Twin Flame, Scorpio. This is your Divine Counterpart. This could be your Past Life Soulmate, or this is your Twin Flame, but... This twin flame is not wanting to let go of you, even though they they were involved. I said were. I feel like they have come to an end with this third party karmic or, their, or this karmic contract is about to be completed. Or whatever situation they had going on, now they want to come back to you. Ace of Staffs, yes, Spirit saying yes. The Ace of Staffs is a yes card. Two of Coins. This individual, this twin flame has been in a like a loop. Like they've been juggling. Like you see that infinity symbol? Like you see that Scorpio? And it's a snake. You know what this is? This is not this is the infinity symbol, right? But you know what else this uh, symbolizes? The snake eating his tail. This is Ouroboros, the snake devouring its own tail. You know, can the snake actually eat itself? Can it actually eat itself? Can the snake eat itself? How can the snake eat itself? You know, because it technically, if we look at a snake, a snake is just a mouth, a mouth and eyes, theoretically speaking, and the tail. But what happens when the snake gets all the way to the end? The snake can't eat itself. Ouroboros is a, a very interesting spiritual concept. It's not really talked about much. Um, now, if you have played like um, the Xenoblade Chronicles, then you know spoiler alert right you'll hear you'll hear the name Ouroboros you'll see it all over in that game but anyhow I digress the hermit is there there is a mosquito in the room and I am scared for my life the hangman in uh, reverse okay king of staffs oh. and the empress like this individual can't make up their mind this individual, they can't make up their mind. They they don't know. Like, they're over here as king of staffs, but they're also here as emperor. You're over here as empress. The third party's over here as the queen of staffs. Like, they're showing up as a pair for this third party, and they're showing up as a pair for you. Like, this twin flame. This is literally the Aries read all over again. This is the Aries read all over again. Like, this twin flame. This twin flame wants to be with you and the third party. Four of Cups. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups. This twin flame wants to be with you, the third party, and several other people. 
they want to experience several other people. This emperor or this empress. Yeah, the fool. The fool is somebody that does not get into a long-term commitment. This twin flame. I cannot make it up. This twin flame. And they want the third party. They want you. And they want Sally, Sue, and Mary. Also Betty Jane, okay? Whoever else. <laughs> or they want Matthew, Joe, Mark, Bob, okay, Andrew. Like or some of you, some of your twin flames, they want both. Okay, if you get what I'm saying, they want both. This is somebody that's got some crazy energy. They got some crazy energy. This uh this twin flame of yours, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, what's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles? Ten of Wands. They have invested so much into, like, magic. This individual has spent so much money in magic. Yeah, to project their feelings of love towards you. The moon, the page of cups, with the nine of pentacles and the hermit. So that you stay single. So that you do not move forward, okay? The air conditioner has uh, turned on. I apologize for that. So this way you don't move forward. You don't move yourself into calmer waters. Like, this twin flame is desperate to hold on to you but i'm i'm like confused with their actions here like they know that you let me tell you something scorpio your twin flame they know that you guys are twin flame they know the hangman in reverse they are absolutely aware that you guys are divine counterparts they have at this point at this point in time they know exactly who you are and what the journey entails between the two of you. But, mm, the hangman, it's like they, they want you to stay waiting for them. Like, they, it's like they don't want you ever building with anybody else. Like, they want you all to themselves. Knight of Swords. Okay, uh, June, it could even be June 11th. That this individual is making a, a surprise visit, or it could be July 11th or June 22nd, the day after the summer uh, solstice, okay? This individual is basically trying to do the rounds, you know, like, make sure them and the third party are good, then go over to you, make sure you're good. Then go over to, you know, who whoever the third person is, make sure they're good, the fourth person. And, you know, if this is uh, an emperor or even an empress, right, we have to remember in ancient civilizations, you know, it was common for these emperors or these empresses to have uh, a wife or a husband, but then to have also multiple lovers. So this individual it could be operating out of that, you know, out of that mindset, they could have been one of those kings or queens or empresses or emperors, you know, in their past life that had a wife, had a husband, or had both. And then on top of that, had multiple lovers. And, you know, they could be wanting to do that this lifetime around. And really, what can you do, you know, if, if they want to be polyamorous, then, like, I feel like you can't really do much else there. Yeah, the lovers, the lovers and the Knight of Cups. So this Twin Flame, they, they don't want to lose you, but they also want to build with other people at this point in time. Yeah, this Emperor, or you're the Emperor. Like, they want to have it. They, this Twin Flame basically wants to have justice. Like, they want it all balanced in their life, okay? They, they want to balance their way. They want to be in control. This is somebody that's very, very stubborn, okay? They don't want to hear it. But because of this, they have ended up heartbroken because they're in love with you. This person is in love with you, the star card. So why is this the message for Scorpio then? To advance, because this individual is going to continuously communicate with you guys. Or they're going to try to find a way to communicate with you guys, okay? After a very, very long time, it could have been seven months or two years, no contact, or 17 months, okay? 
or five years even, no contact separation, right, with you and this person. But now here they're coming in within these next two months, or they could already be here speaking to you, right? Some of you, they're appearing in a fake social media profile, and then they're revealing uh, to you, you know, that, hey, it's, it's me, so-and-so, right? They're revealing to you that, they're, that they are the mask underneath this catfish social media profile. So it's just really weird. They are really, this twin flame is really trying hard to project that you are theirs. And they're trying to project this energy onto you that you are taken. So that, you know, if a man looks at you or a woman, he, she, they, them, whoever they are, love, whoever be, you know, whoever be looking at you when you're out in public, you know, they look at you, they think you're fine as F-U-C-K, you know, like they, they want to take you home, they want to scoop you up, but then they get turned off because they feel it in your energy. They feel this, this energy of your twin flame. They feel this energy of you are taken. You are not available. You're not single. These energies pick up on it. So then they decide not to take any action with you, not to pursue any action with you. Or if they do approach you, then it's like later down the line, they start to think there's somebody else in the picture. There's somebody else with Scorpio. And it's they are picking up on your twin flames energy. They are picking up on this karmic twin flame because this this is what this is. You know, we have to call it how it is. This is a karmic twin flame. This is a twin flame that has turned karmic. Yeah, the devil. I can't make it up. I cannot make up the energy I'm picking up on. This is a twin flame that has turned karmic. They want to indulge in all of their fleshly and worldly desires, first and foremost. They want to put the desires of the world and the flesh before the desires of spirit. And that's not what they came here to do. So this is a twin flame that is not ready for union with you guys. Yeah, five of swords. This is somebody that's not ready for union with y'all. They're just not. They want they want to hold on to you. They want to keep you, you know, in this prim and proper Queen of Pentacles energy, right? You know, just sit there, wait. You can work, you can make your money, but just make sure you're single, you know? Just make sure you're not involved with anybody else. You know, stay devoted to this individual. Like, that's the energy that they want to put on y'all, right? This individual, th this is like a multiverse. Like, this individual is projecting some sort of reality where it's like the two of you are together and married and living a very traditional, like, it's like a really traditional, like, what they're showing me is like the little house on the prairie. But it's like this individual's imagination like this individual imagines like a very traditional life where you are where you are like a traditional uh, lover and you are obedient to them and only them and no one else like it's very much giving and it's also giving like a 5d or like a 4d astral intimacy like a slumberland, like a fake reality in, in another realm where this individual is trying to lay up with you, trying to, you know, project onto you that you guys are going to be together forever and it's just you and only you that they want. But that's not what these cards say. These cards say this individual wants whoever, whenever. Okay, some of you need to be careful with this person because I am hearing, okay, I am hearing scorpio that for some of you this twin they got themselves something and i literally got i message notification right when i said that some of you really need to be careful with this twin flame of yours because they could have caught something i feel like they did for some of you yeah five of wands they don't want to tell the truth though to anybody they don't want to get checked out at the clinic because somebody that they know works there and they don't want their business being told to the town, to the community. They want to appear prim and proper to the outside world, but this this is somebody, like this individual could even be a swinger, you know, like... 
page of wands. Yeah, they're going to message you. Uh, Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. This individual is going to message you. They, they want to make, you know, Ace of Cups. Like, they could be professing their love here, telling you they love you. That, you know, you guys are going to be together. But th this is just to keep you stuck in the Eight of Swords. You know, stuck, waiting. And if you're, you know, if it's the summertime for you where you're currently at, love, this is being done so that you do not have a hot boy or a hot girl summer. Like, that's why this is being done. You know, because in the summertime, people tend to live it up, live their life a little bit more. You know, they tend to go on vacation, travel a bit more, you know, uh, you know, enjoy things happening outside, festivals, raves, okay? You know, just a Friday night, you could be going out to the restaurant or something with friends, with family. Like, this is somebody that wants you to stay in your house the whole, like, the whole summer. These next three or four months, they want you to stay in your house, Scorpio. Like, they don't want you going nowhere, okay? This individual does not want you going nowhere. Queen of Chalices, they feel like you still love them. Yeah, Ace of Coins, they feel like you still love them. Some of you, they're going to try to trap you with an engagement ring, the Five of Coin. But you see, that's not, like, you're still... <sighs> This five of coin is very much giving me an unrequited love situation. Like it's not being a knight of swords there. Justice. Knight of swords, justice. Page of swords. There's somebody here and law for this, this energy, like the... What is going on with these police officers, these, you know, these people in the military, these lawyers, like what's going on? These people, like they're, they're coming after the collective and not in the way y'all think like they, and they like to be, you know, without you, mm, four of swords <laughs> this is literally what I said, y'all about to be approached by an air sign. They could be a Gemini or a Libra, but they're in law enforcement. Y'all about to be approached by somebody. They have a thing for you. They ain't never seen somebody like you. Page of coin and the ten of coin. There's somebody that lives a, a simple life, but they wanna they wanna make an offer to you guys. You know, they they work, they watch TV, they go to the gym. That's basically it. You know, they they live a very simple life. They could have a pet dog. This is somebody in law enforcement. You know, they live a very traditional life. And they're hoping that you'll be open to dating them. Okay, this is somebody that's been watching you for quite some time. Heartbreak is there. Yeah. Between the lines. Was that the mosquito? I feel like that was the mosquito that just flew away. I'm really nervous. I don't like mosquitoes. But it got really humid and hot over here. And we live right next to the woods. And the woods has a river. Finances. What's going on? What is this? This is your twin. Music. Your twin is broke. They're heartbroken. They're trying to heal through music. They fear they may have lost you forever. Yeah, this player, this this ex-lover of yours, they, they fear they may have lost you forever. <sighs> this is the chariot. They're trying to come towards you. They want to just keep you single, and they want to just be friends with you. But they want to be friends with benefits with you, but they, they may paint it as a proposal. Okay, this is your twin flame or your soulmate. But, you know, you know the truth about this whole situation at this point in time so that's where i'm gonna leave it that was your read that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this i wish you the best of luck and i wish you love and light take care